Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about the table view and the stretchy header. And in the last video, we, um, we added the image and we placed the image at the top of the table view and that's working pretty good, but it doesn't stretch yet. So we need to you know, connect it to the scroll action of the table view um, you know, to make it, it kind of fit the top whenever you scroll. So when I scroll here, we need to know like when we scroll right? And then we need to know the value, like how far did we scroll, right? And then we can use those, um, those ideas to set the height of the, of the image here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom of my view controller and right below where we have um, table view cell for row at index path, but before the closing bracket here, we'll use scroll view did scroll. And you can actually just type did scroll and that should get you to this method right so the table view is built on top of the UI scroll view and UI scroll view gives us this did scroll method that will tell us every time the table view scrolls so whenever the table view is scrolling whenever it's moving um, it will notify us right it'll call this method okay so what we need to do now is we need to know like how far did it scroll so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say let y equal scroll view dot content offset and the content offset is similar to the content inset but it's different okay so it's similar um, inset kind of sets like how far inward the content is pushed the offset tells us like how far it's scrolled on the X and the Y so insets can be inset from all four sides of the of the view but the, the content offset can only scroll on the X and the Y. So it's a CG point, and this has, a, has an X and a Y property that will tell us how far we've scrolled. Our scroll view doesn't scroll on the horizontal. It only scrolls on the vertical, so the X doesn't matter, but the Y is, is what we're looking for. So we'll set the uh, scroll view content offset dot Y. So we'll just get, put that in this variable Y here, and then we can print out the value to the... Um, to the um, the terminal right so I'll just print Y and then we can see like oh look it says negative 200 well that was the the offset that we created up here right so um, and then as we scroll up when I get to about zero you know that will be when the first cell hits the top edge of the table view right so that's working pretty good the negative 200 is not really helping us right so why don't we do this let's add um, let's add 200 to this number right so I'm gonna say plus 200 and then That should give us negative something, but we see zero when it meets the bottom edge here. And then as I go up, the numbers get positive, right? Okay, so that's working pretty good. Um, but really what I want to get is I want a number that's 200, right? And gets smaller as we scroll up. So what I'm going to do is you'll see here that the value that we have here with the Y plus 200 is starts at zero and then gets smaller as we go or larger as we go up right and then smaller as we drag down so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it in parentheses so we do this math first and then we'll take 200 and subtract that value from 200 right so now our number should start at zero or at start at 200 or 0 minus 200 so it leaves us 200 and then as we go up the number gets smaller and as we go down the number gets larger right so we're going to use this value now to calculate the height of the table of, of the image view right in the header so let's do this now let's calculate the height let's say let h equal and what I want to do is I want to create a range. I want to range from 200 to the smallest value. Like I don't want the value to get smaller than let's say 60. So I'm going to use the max method here and I'll say 60 and Y. Okay, so this says return to me the 
largest value, either y or 60. So if y started at 200, then the larger value would be the 200. But if I, as I scroll up, if the y gets to something less than 60, then 60 is the maximum value, and that'll be the value here. So let's print out the h value and then see what it looks like in the, um, in the, the console, right? So uh, here we are. So it says 200, and then as I scroll up, you can see the numbers are getting smaller, but when I hit 60, they don't get any smaller. If I go down further, they can get larger, but they can't get any smaller than 60. That's our maximum, okay? Okay, so now let's set the height of the image view. So what we'll do is we'll just change its rectangle, and we'll just set its frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know, let, this is very similar to when we set up the table, uh, the, the image view up here, we created a rectangle, right? So we're going to just do the same thing again. We're going to create a new rectangle and then set the frame, okay? So say, let's say let rectangle equal CG rect, and then we want to do this one here with X, Y, width, and height. So our X is zero, the height is zero, the width is view dot bounds dot width. I know that's really long, but that's what it is, right? And then the height now is going to be h, okay? So that's going to be, you know, it's that value that we calculated here. We're going to use that to set the height of the image view, okay? So now that we've got a rectangle that describes the area on the screen where the image should appear, you know, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually set the image, set the frame of the image, to this rectangle. Okay, so let's uh, save that and then we'll give it a test and see what happens. Okay, so now you can see as I drag down the image gets larger and then as I scroll up the image gets smaller until it hits 60 pixels and then it doesn't get any smaller after that. Yeah, that's working pretty good, right? So anyway, so I hope that that was helpful. And, um, you know, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, I'll try and post this example to GitHub um, so you can look at my source code also. And uh, thanks for watching.